hi, I loved your shirt. Could not agree with you more. Um, there's a lot of concerns because people seem to have fallen in love with socialism, especially young people. You're a young person, I can tell. Why did you fall out of love or reject socialism? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I, didn't, I mean, uh, I came here to this country. Thing. I mean, I came from a poor country. And what you guys have here is way better than what we have. We're not even socialism, but we're getting to... We're, I mean, you know, we're embracing capitalism. We're way better than, you know, most other countries that embrace socialism. And yeah, after you learn the history, if you just look at results, that's all you need to know. Where, where, what country are you from? Oh, Philippines. Oh, okay. So was, was, was the Philippines trending towards socialism at one time? Well, it's, more de it's more democratic and all that. It, it was never a socialist country, but I've seen countries that are socialist. And, you know, they're, uh, of course, of right now, well, Philippines, like, you know, it's very uh, central to the government, but at least it's not socialism and, and it's, it's improving gradually. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what What's advice you would give to get young people to reject socialism and start embracing capitalism? Oh, be grateful for, for what you have 100 years ago. Uh, the av word average, I think, for what people make each month is $3 100 years ago. Now it's $33. That's like, you know, we doubled the pop in the past 100 years, we doubled the population, but our, our cost of living, like how much we have right now, is 10 times more from 100 years ago. Cool. Say your name again? Christian. Christian. And uh, so you're from the Philippines. You, um, the, you know, I have great respect for people who come here legally. And it, how long did it take for you to become a citizen here or to become a legal resident? Well, right now I'm a legal resident. I can always take it as a citizen at any time. But uh, as far as you know, being able to get here, the process was long. I was still young. And uh, we were petitioned by my great grandpa who, uh, who was in Guam, which is U.S. territory since the 1950s after the war. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he petitioned the whole family and you know, he took my grandma first, then eventually we moved on, but the past took like a decade, I think. It took a as decade. Far as, as far as I can remember, yeah. Wow. So we had the whole process, getting all the paperwork, the money to be, the, the whole thing but took a long time. Wow. I mean, you know, but yeah, at least we did the right way. The yes. Legal way. Yeah, that's the only way that should be done. Yeah. I see. And how long have you lived in the United States now? Right now, I've been here since 2005, so around 13 years. 13 years, and so it took 10 years at minimum to, be, to become, oh, to, to get here legal. Citizen, it, uh, it, only, it will only take five years, but uh, the thing is I haven't really put, uh, I haven't applied for citizenship yet, but well, I can do it anytime I want. We might need, we need more people to reject socialism because it's becoming, sadly, people are falling for it, oh, even yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, I'm saving up money right now so that I can take the citizenship so that I can actually vote. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. I like your shirt. <laughs>